also like uh andrew uh i know you don't like like uh i know like call of duty black ops is like one of your favorite games because you like sniping in it and it's like challenging for you and whatnot but uh i heard that they're bringing uh quick scoping back to uh model for three what do you think of that like you think you're gonna get into that or you think you rather uh them I keep think... it like in black ops or do you want it do you, are you looking forward for it to be uh more easier I think if they have quick scoping on Modern Warfare 3 that it's going to be over for those stupid noobs that are going to be trying to noob to me. <laughs> Where, like, I hope they put quick scoping for sure. Like, that has to be a must right there. Like the Modern Warfare 2 quick scoping. Nah, that's just too easy right there, dude. I like the COD 4 quick scoping. If you, if you ask me, uh, I think the, the if you were to tell me which one was your best sniping experience, and I'm not a good sniper, so like, it doesn't really mean anything coming from me, but I would say COD 4 is my favorite place to snipe. Uh, I don't know why, it's just, I, I think it's the way the gun looks and the gun feels, like just the way, I don't, I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, but I like the way the sniper rifle feels like, like I was telling you, like, there's a big old difference between um, Modern Warfare 2 sniping and Black Ops sniping. Like, the the out 961 it just feels beast. Like, I don't know, it just feels powerful. Like, the intervention, it sounds weak and, I don't know, I don't like it. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't really like the intervention either. I, I think it's just, it, it looks awkward. Like, uh, I used to be a small quick scoper. like I, I started to learn the ways of quick scoping, and then I just, I gave that up, and I'm like, this is kind of dumb, I don't, I don't really like want to, you know, take my time learning the quick scope, and it's just, uh, no offense to you, Andrew, but like, <laughs> like I just, yeah. I didn't really, really care for it, and, and now playing to it, like, to this day, I, I just find it, it looks goofy, and looks, and I'm like, man, the 50 caliber looks way much better, I rather, I like the 50 caliber better than the, you know, did an intervention. Uh, I don't know why. And it's also, it's not like a one shot kill. It's like, well, it is a one shot kill, but I mean, like, it's not like a, what is it, a, uh, like, it, it retracts or whatnot. I'm kind of lost for words here. Uh, like, yeah, Mark, basically it's basically semi automatic and you don't have to, like, cock it or nothing like that. No, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, yeah that's you pretty know, like tight. The so L9, like... A, like, the L9 does. Six. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that one. You know how that one does? Yeah, I'm a fucking noob. I don't know about any of these guns. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. This is probably like the only one that I know because I always buy it. The must. So, you, you, what gun do you guys want returning on there? Like. Oh, nice. uh, I know Doughboy wants uh, his Tar 21, and I want my Tar 21 as well. Uh, what, what guns do you guys want? Oh, I'm a big fan the of the overpowered dome. The what? Yeah. The mortar dome? He said the ump. Oh, the ump. I don't understand yeah. that. Yeah, that was like a weird silence. <laughs> I don't understand that gun. Like, I love. I guess it's like a powerful SMG, but I, I'm having better luck with the with the MP5K than that gun. It's just I'm terrible using that gun. I can't use it at all. The, the silencer is pretty beast. I'm not gonna lie. That's what I used to use for such a destroy on MW2. Uh, I can't even use it anymore. I use I use the Tar 21 and only the Tar 21. Maybe sometimes the uh, sometimes the ACR and sometimes uh, the scar but uh, I always fall, end up falling back to the tar 21 that's you know I yeah, already told you powerful. yeah tar. but the uh, ump is just I don't know like I, I found putting like three bullets into a guy and then just like the guy turning around like is it me or does it shoot kind of slow like I, I, I think it's kind of, I think it's me, I, I don't know what like the rate of fire or nothing like that is, but I mean it just seems pretty, it doesn't seem very fast, like I, I could kill a guy faster with a tar than I can with the UMP and uh, I don't know if it's just my skills or something, maybe I need to get used to it more. Rapid fire. The rapid fire, but no, I, I like silencers on there, I like silencers in all my guns, except for the, the FAMAS and uh, Black Ops. <laughs> Yeah. Except in Black Ops, uh, I, I need I need a silencer in there. 
So, anyways, uh, what are you guys uh, thinking about uh, my own, um, uh, I was gonna say my own for three, my bad, my mistake. Uh, what are you guys thinking about Halo 4? I, I, I'm not looking forward to that game. Really? You guys are different uh, creators? Halo fans? Halo Reach, but not Halo 4, I don't know, it's not, not getting my attention. It's not? Why not? I don't know. It, 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 look, it looks boring, I don't know. So, I'm not really into Halo no more. But you get to be Master Chief again. And uh, I know like it's kind of like split between like, oh, you know, you, you shouldn't, you know, go on with the series. You should just like end it and like have a nice memory of it because you're only going to ruin it if you keep, you know. But then there's another, like, why wouldn't you want to, you know, play as Master Chief again? Like, I know I'm excited. I definitely want that game. I definitely want to play as Master Chief again, especially because like, oh man, the, the, the memories of playing Halo 1 and stuff like that, they're, they're so like, I, I, I still remember remember but like they're kind of like uh, I don't know they're, they're kind of like faded uh, I can like barely remember yeah pretty tight though uh, like yeah I'm looking forward to the BR that it's a must in Halo 4 <laughs> of course of course BR everybody loves the BR uh, um you guys know it's made by a new develop developer right that's why I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, is that what you're gonna say? Yeah. But I'm pretty sure it's the same. They're a good copy class. Like a good, like, it'll probably, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same. From what I can tell, it looks the same to me. Hmm. Yeah, it looks the same. It looks like Halo Reach to me, doesn't it? Like, with Master Chief there. And, I don't know. Well, uh... Speaking of other games, uh, and you don't didn't you buy like Duke Nukem? Like, tell us like do you recommend it? Yeah, I freaking recommend it. It's um uh, like the online gameplay, like whatever, like it's hectic, dude. Like killing everywhere, but on like the campaign, it's pretty tight. Oh man, I bet the campaign side. I freaking I laugh at the commercials every time and. Oh man, dude, I, I really don't remember playing it at all. Like, uh, I played it, I have played it, uh, my brother's play and stuff like that, and uh, I'm often, like, I have been watched him play it more than I played it myself. I'm more like, I don't know, I was just there just to watch him play it. Uh, but, like, uh, yeah, I played it before and stuff like that, but, like, I, I don't even remember, like, you know, I played, like, the Doom games and stuff like that. Did you guys play the older game, or is this, like, your guys' like, first Doom game? Uh, I mean, uh, Duke Nukem the, game. Uh, sorry. For, I mean, uh, Duke Nukem, yeah. My brother, I was the same. My brother just played it a lot. They say it was yeah. good, so my brother got it, and then like I played it. It's it says funny lines, dude. Like it has to be like one of the funniest gameplay lines. Yeah, exactly. Then. Like, uh, man, he should have played it. Like, even though I don't remember it, I remember like having, like my brother just playing it and just playing a lot, a lot, a lot of games. Um, yeah, my brother was a gamer. He, he's really the one that got me into gaming. So if it, if it wasn't for him, like, I, I own a lot. If it wasn't for him, you know, I would probably not even be talking to you guys right now. I'll probably have, like, real life friends instead of, uh, <laughs> making friends on the, on the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, that game has funny lines. Like, sometimes it says shove it down your throat and weird stuff, dude. It's funny as heck. It's a crazy game, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's fun on online because you can string people and you can <laughs> step on them. That sounds fun. I, right. I want to do that. I, I want to get that game, but I'm, like, in a budget. And I can't really. The only game I'm gonna buy is probably Mono like, for 3. Maybe, maybe Battlefield. Uh, I'm still. Like, I'm, I'm still reserving, like, because I only get, like, two games. But yeah. So, uh, there's Ledges. Well, what about you? Uh, do, do, do you have any interest in that game at all? Or is that just like, whatever? Or is it's that not, like, not like whatever? Okay. Little bit? Little bit. <laughs> I, maybe like a little bit, or not. I don't know. If by the time, uh, I'll buy it. Uh, I play I play that game because like I don't know it's, it's really fun and it's not really a comp to me when I play I don't get really competitive over it because like it's it's like, like an arcade game like right 
It's like, a, it's like those uh, games that you yeah. would buy for like 10 bucks or something like that. Like from the Xbox Live Marketplace. Because that's how I see it. I don't really see it as a real game. I don't see it like competing with Black Ops or I mean Call of Duty at all. Yeah, it's just to like mess around. So, so dope boy, you still here? I haven't heard, I haven't Yeah. Oh, I thought you died, dude. Are you okay? <laughs> Probably talking to his girlfriend. Ah, uh, you should have her. Samantha. Oh. Oh. Nah. <laughs> oh, JJ, what's going on here? <laughs> going on oh okay that's why you muted your mic i see <laughs> i didn't i didn't mute my mic you give it a little freaky no i'm just kidding <laughs> whoa <laughs> all right uh <laughs> yeah i definitely i definitely want to freaking get duke nukem they make fun of halo they make fun of halo on that game on duke nukem it's freaking funny do they like on the like well, how on the first mission you like you go down into like a little layer or whatever and like you can pick your gun like the, some robot tells you you want some power up armor and you thought like no armors for no freaking and the armor is the master chief armor dude I started laughing really <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that that game definitely has a lot of references to other games uh, I saw like previews and stuff like that I I freaking I checked like Duke Nukem back and like forwards and backwards uh, trying to see you know what kind of game it is it is it does it look fun and stuff like that like I try to get a lot of information off of it and yeah it definitely has like a lot of uh, a lot of references to like other games and uh, I, I don't know it's just for me I, I really like it and I think the thing that I'm looking most forward to is like the, not the campaign like not the multiplayer I should say not the multiplayer like if it didn't come with multiplayer I'll still consider buying it because I want to play personally the the campaign that's what I'm like like you know I'm wanting to play yeah when I first heard it I was like really considering buying it but I'm um, yeah I'm for sure I'm gonna get Halo 4 Yeah, me too. So, so uh, uh, besides that, what other games are you guys looking forward to? Uh, uh, Battlefield 3? Battlefield 3? Yeah. yeah that one. Uh, Doughboy? Yeah. I think it's gonna be cool, it looks cool. Yeah? yeah. What, what about it, you guys, uh, is it that you like about it? I don't know, it just reminds me of, like, Call of Duty, like, a lot, I don't know. To tell the truth, I've never played Battlefield, but... This one, like, is cool. Not even the demo? You should, like, try out the Battlefield Bad Company 2, the demo. Uh, they give you access to the multiplayer for, like, I don't know how long. But you should try it out. Then, uh... It, the, don't try to compare Battlefield and Call of Duty because to me they're like not even alike. They're not even similar. Like the reason I would buy probably Battlefield Bad Company Three is just maybe because like when I'm like out of frustration, but I don't want to like you know give up on like shooting people and stuff like that. Maybe I'll hop in Battlefield Bad Company Three or something. You know, it's just like something to keep me off Call of Duty for a while while I cool off. So I don't want to like break something because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be something tomorrow for Three that's gonna make us mad. Maybe not like within like the first week, but there will be. Yep. <laughs> what? His mic turned off. Oh, okay. I heard like a, a yell in the background. It's kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, anyways, let's move on. Um, so, uh, did you guys hear the new Resident Evil game is coming out? Yeah. Yeah, got, um, yeah. Game Informer or whatever. Magazine. What about what about you, Andrew? Uh, no boy. You guys heard of it? Yeah, I seen it uh, at GameStop. I went to GameStop and I was seeing the preview thing. What were you getting there? Oh, this thing to clean my Black Ops because my Black Ops is super, super scratched and I bought it so oh. it could clean the, my Black Ops. 